heading out of the roadways. We've had light rain and sprinkles, even a light shower or two across the area. Take a look at the radar right now. You can see these have been moving from south to north. Not abundant with rain, but what you don't see here, and this is something that radar doesn't pick up very well, and that would be the light mist that's out there. So even though you may not have a shower where you are or where you're driving uh, on radar, it may already be wet because of the light mist that's been occurring on and off all through the night. So give it some time. 648 right now. Let's see. If your clock says 748, you need to do some time change. And of course, daylight saving time came to an end over the weekend. Hopefully you feel a little more rested this morning. 69 degrees out there at the moment. Winds out of the south at 6. Humidity 93%. We have upper 60s out to the west and scattered about. Some lower 70s. Warmest temp, 72 in LaGrange. We're at 69 degrees here in Austin, Texas. You head north and you see temperatures quite a bit colder up in Amarillo. 46 degrees. That is cold air that is going to make it here, but not until tomorrow. It's got another push coming in behind it. That's going to shove it through here and probably by noon tomorrow we should have uh, that moving through winds out of the north but between now and then these clouds the light mist the showers and maybe even some thunderstorms are possible take a look at that front to the north of us right now stationary they've got some uh, cooler temperatures out to the west of it they've even got some concerns for frozen precip we won't see that in fact the way things are right now we typically get a cold front in here and it's like a squeegee scrapes all the moisture out of the atmosphere and we end up with dry conditions that of course changes though when we get into uh, january february we start seeing things mix a little better but not this time around you can see cloudy skies rain and thunderstorms cold front tomorrow and then clear and cool after that. In fact, clear and cool to the point where maybe some folks will see some freezing weather later in the week. Here's the way things shape up. Talked about that shower possibility for today, off and on. You see it by six, just in time for drive time. And then tonight, we'll watch this system develop. That's that front coming in tomorrow morning. It'll be just moving into the hill country. Timing and placement could change, but we think it's pretty good for right now. And then by noon tomorrow, clears through and is out of here. So for today, 80, cloudy, light mist, rain, and possibly some thunderstorms. Tonight, the same scenario, and then tomorrow morning, that front will move in, giving us a chance for thunderstorms, and then clearing into the evening hours. Now, it'll cool down, but the coldest weather will be Thursday and Friday, second day after a front. Morning lows in the lower 40s locally likely means some freezing temps in surrounding areas. It looks like it does get above freezing. In fact, a really nice weekend coming up Saturday and Sunday.